for a lot of you to understand what you are doing. What when you explain to somebody, I make a gas water. What is the gas water? What is the plasmatic gans, or what is the liquid plasma? It's all the same word for the same thing, but what's the principle behind it? How does it work? How can I explain to somebody, I have a liquid gans plasma of CO2? How did you make it? Very simple, the knowledge is simple. You can explain to them, as I said before, you get these water purification system, it's got a tube, it's got different kind of layers of sand, charcoal, whatever, whatever, and the water goes through it, and you buy a purified water, you filter it. Do the same thing, put the gans in the bottle, shake it, and see what happens. It's not that the gans is going down, it's the water has to go through the gap space, Gravitational magnetic field spacing, the gravitational magnetic positioning, what we call magra positioning, between the ganses, which allows certain water at a certain strength to go through it. So, as it goes through it, we purify the strength. In the filters of matter, we purify the impurities of whatever. In the filter of the plasmatic gans condition, when you shake it, we unify, we modify everything to a specific strength. If it's more, it gives to the gas, if it's short, it reaches. So, the water you receive above the gas is mono-energetic, that's why it's so powerful. So, you explain to people, we create filters of magnetic field strength. And then they understand. That's what gas water is. Unification, simply mono, energetic, magnetic, gravitational field the strength of the water. So, it's very easy, you purify, now we have a new purifier offered to the humanity. Purify by strength, not by matter content. When you put it through the chalk and the sand, you take certain size materials, which are not supposed to be in it, and you get the stock in between the sand or the charcoal, you get pure water at the end, you drink it. With us, with the new plasma technology, what we call Gans water, what plasmatic water, is that now, if you understood the principle of the physics, that everything is magnetic field positioned, then you can explain it, they understand it. Always carry two surround circle magnets, can I share a screen please? I need to share a screen. You should be able to go ahead there, okay. Mr. Keshe. Okay, I'll go on it, I'll go. Um, whiteboard, share. This is what we have to understand, which is the beauty of it. If we take this up, in, in our position, we always said, the space, is gravitational magnetic, and now you have a plasma, two magnets, plasmas are two magnets. This space gap here, is when the water goes of the certain strength, let me change the color that you can see it, when the water goes of the certain strength, that creates that gap of strength, which can go through. So, when it comes out of here, the water is this big, when it comes out of here, it's this strength. It's this strength or the magnitude. So, now this is your CO2, but if you go back and now put the gans of, let's say, zinc oxide. The zinc oxide, it's yellow, you don't see it, I choose another color. Okay, this is the zinc oxide. So, then the zinc oxide, because of its strength, the gap is the slightly different. So, if you look, you have this. And the water which you put through, is got this strength. And the water now, which goes through, it comes in, the strength is this, but, before, has a bigger dimension, or a smaller. But when it comes out of here, it's mono. And that's why you have a power, that's why your gas liquid has, can target a specific strength. 